What's your favourite Jurassic Park slash world film? Anything with gold bloom. Yes. Also, I don't know what it is, but I love Dennis Nedry. Um, we are going to do medium later. I was going to do easy for his test run. I'm planning to get sub 50. So already we've made a little boo-boo. Now that we've got those set up, we go along here. We get the Hawangs. Hawangs are our best friend. Yeah, so what um, headphones did you get, my dude? Uh, Razor Black Shark and some Sony headphones. I don't know the type. Fair play, dude. Fair play. Oh, get in. Look at that lovely RNG. Just got them today, actually. Oh, try them out. See if I sound lovely. You always sound lovely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We actually only need three dinosaurs. Even though the map says we need five species, that doesn't matter. We only care about the rating. The rating is all we care about. Even though we don't have it to the viability we want yet, what we can do is just set ourselves up. Oh, come on. It was literally there. There. Right, now because we've got Draco Rex, we are just going to research Draco Rex for the time being. And we only need that to get up to about 60. So that's a 90% chance of getting correct. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. It's because I like to talk fast with speed running, yo. Speed running your words. Release you. Have we released you? That is step one. Step one is now complete. Why have we not split? Okay, there's the split. Okay, Draco Rex is definitely going to get to the 50 mark. So Diffos, I want to get 100% on. Because defos are the key to this run. They are the legitimate key. The diplomats. <laughs> the diplomats will lead us to victory. But the reason why defos are so good is the fact that they are the most cost-effective dinosaur per point. So next we want to do is the savannah. That is next. And we sell that, sell that. Defo. Oh, we've got Chishong. But it's good because we can sell it. We can sell the fossil. And before someone says it, but damn, you can't. Put um, Diffos in with Draco Rexes. You're right. You can't. Unless you want them to be eaten. Carnage. We gotta have the carnage, man. We gotta have the carnage. Oh, no. Do not sell you. Do not sell you, you cheeky waffle. Oh, sweet. We've got so much money. So we can add our ranger station right over here. Don't be a dick. Why? I'm oh, really right on the outskirt of the freaking thing. That's the ranger station built. And we can add another Hawang. And another Hawang. Going to be 26. I don't think it's going to get to 26. I don't think we're going to be that fortunate. Because um, the annoying thing with the RNG in this game is I'm not always going to get the fossils I'm going to want. If I get 26, ho ho, that would be nice. That would be the Ute fall. Okay, just double check. You're at 7. So one more Hawang will get us up to... Frickin' heck, yes. Who wang? So we shaved 14 minutes. We shaved off 14 minutes after the fact that we spent an extra one minute doing the, fir the, like, the first star. And I was able to shave off 14 minutes. Insane. Insane. <laughs> speed. 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 We only care about the speed. Speed. Speed is everything. Uh, I do good. Got my second... Covid shot today and got rear-ended too. Oh, but all good, no injuries. As long as you're not injured, that's 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 the important thing. I haven't even got my first shot yet, and I thought I was a liability because of my asthma. Submit done. Uh, yeah, I'm considered a healthcare worker, so I was able to get early. Fair play. Get it while you can. Damn high-value shot. Oh god. Uh, carnivore fossil. That's what we're wanting. We want the carnivore fossil. We want this darn carnivore. The photo, not the vaccine. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, number one. There we go. Oh, God. We are so close. We are so close. Oh, my God. We might be able to make it. We might just be able to make it. I'm adding more just in case. Because we've still got a little bit of time before the 55. There, that, I, I know I have enough now. I know I have enough. You should get it on 49. They can't go wrong. The, the incubations can't fail. Come on, one. I need one of you. One of you. Do not hurt each other. I want you to live. <laughs> I'm 50. Whoa, hang on, 45? Hey, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Sub 50, baby! Sweet. 
McDonald's, they are doing um, these Camp Cretaceous build, build sets. So, thinking we might build one if you guys are interested. A Stiggy Moloch. Wrong camera. Stiggy Moloch, which is this lovely chap here. Or a Triceratops. Those are the two choices. So, got a lovely little base bit here. Look at that. Look at that good old Stiggy. Also, slot said, Ah, oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. So it's like layered on layered. Uh, that bit makes me look like it has tiny arms. It looks like it wants to start a fight. Like what? What are you saying, mate? What are you saying, mate? What, mate? What? What? Come on, come on. Wait, wait. That, that's the sort of feeling I'm getting from it. It's flexing. It's flexing so hard right now. There we go. We've made our Stiggy. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> that was so worth it for like the few seconds it's worth doing that. <laughs> But where shall we put Stiggy? Where shall we put Stiggy in the room? I'll tell you one thing, I really want Jurassic Pop and World Pop Finals. That That's one thing I want. Get myself. Where shall I put Stiggy? Because I've got a shelving here. I've got some shelving down there, but you won't be able to see Stiggy. I want Stiggy to be shown to the world. Oh, oh. Shall we have Stiggy there? We go here, looking over our lovely stream. He is the guardian of the stream right now. <laughs> Praise be Stiggy. Stiggy? Stiggy. His name's Stiggy. God damn! Hang on. Was it? Oh, that's it. I don't know why, Nikki, but I was thinking for so long where I would keep hearing the word scandalous from. But I just remembered I remember it from freaking Recess. From the Ashleys. If anyone remembers Recess at all. Oh, Miss Recess. Great cartoon. Oh, it was so good. Like, I didn't have Disney Channel to begin with um, growing up. I had a co-worker that looked like Randall. No. Are you serious? Are you being for, like, cereal right now? Dude, that's pretty ass funny. <laughs> Absolutely. That is insane. Did he snitch on you and everything? Like, I... I didn't have Disney. The babysit babysitter, the childminder I had um, when I was younger had like all the kids shows. So you know, a, ch a, a child minder needs to have every kids show to basically go, I'm going to do no work, watch telly. So that's what we'd do. And I used to watch Disney Channel, Jetix, which at the time was Fox Kids when I was younger. So what's everyone been up to? Is everyone looking forward to Easter? That's the question I've got going at the moment. How is the Easter holidays looking for everyone? Right, so we need to add another power station, which we come all the way up here for. Replace there. Ah, you're fine. It's a weird field that's not really well known. Well, it is and it isn't, because in all fairness, I should have known that sort of stuff because my mum had to do, like, setting on when she worked at Specsavers when they gave out hearing aids. So I, I should have known something, but I didn't know if it was, like, a more scientific name than hearing aid specialist. I thought it had, like, a more scientific name. Uh, right, so we need to get this, get this. Okay, let's have a look at you. You can also say audiology. Audioology. There you go. Audioology. I still feel like I butchered the saying. Oh, get in. Why are we getting so lucky on this, but not lucky in the terms of actually getting any yield? We're getting like no yield from this. Radioology. Uh, <laughs> radioology. Wait, ra what is radioology? I love Latin, but I also hate Latin because sometimes it makes no fucking sense. Oh, it's because we added that in. Cool. Uh, that's me in English. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, but no, I, I, but most languages, 
In all fairness, every every word is made up. Everything's completely made up. It's just one person that goes. This is this is what this is this is what a tree is, and then people just go, "Oh, tree," and it just sticks. Like, I came up with a phrase that is not even patented. Like, no one has ever come up with it, from what I know. I've not seen it anywhere in dictionaries or anything like that. And it's um, another word for poo. And you know how people say, uh, scare the shit out of yourself? Well, I think we should call them scare pellets. Scare pellets are the way forward. Rather than saying, scared shitless. It's like a very, very polite way of going, oh, I just developed, I just developed some scare pellets. I think it's a nicer way of saying it. Who doesn't, who doesn't think that scare pellets doesn't sound so innocent? Jesus, no. <laughs> oh dear, some scare pellets have made their way to the front room. <laughs> All these scare pellets are really... I'm just going to keep saying scare pellets. <laughs> uh, we've got nothing in. You're so English, it's adorable. <laughs> Literally, I, I see myself as the sort of person that just says stuff. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Stop calling me adorable because of my nationality. Mm. <laughs> um, but no, it's like in, in general, I'm because quite a lot of people. Like, I wish I was born like in a different time, not too much back, but enough back that I could be like some like more excited. Like for for my sister being born in 1999. Her views on everything is so different from how I remember. Because Jane wasn't... So my sister's Jane. She doesn't know the 90s. Because she... I, whereas I lived four years in the 90s. Well, under four years in the 90s. I still class myself as a 90s baby. Like, as if I knew what happened in the 90s. Which I don't. I don't know anything. But I feel like I do. Whereas Jade, who was born so far back so she was also born in november like me but in 1999 so she was two months off of being a 2000 millennium baby how weird how insane is that so like our family is just like our family birthdays are so close together as well so in our family so if i was to go in order of how close we are in terms of birthdays it goes my mum on in november then me and my sister in um november and then obviously we've got christmas and then it's my um stepdad's birthday dad and he's in uh january he he's a new year baby and so from that alone it's like oh jeez all right we'll get the cindo going we've got to try ceratops going so that adds a bit more production into our but, but I agree, the 90s to me were the best years of my life. <laughs> because I was one, two, three, and four. So therefore, it was the best years of my life. With my family, with all of our birthdays. Everyone's just freaking October. Everyone just got freaking laid um, on New Year's Day and said, We're making a fucking baby. <laughs> and, and that's how it went. That, that's, that's how it goes. Uh, and then when they got the pregnancy test, they dropped some scare pellets. So I've had three girlfriends that I've had birthdays in October. Two boyfriends I had were February. That just puts my light in perspective. It's like, when's your birthday, October? Well, you've got to be mine then. <laughs> Looks like we got a date. We have no choice. So the world's telling me I've got a date yeah. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, what was it? Nikki, Nikki was my last girlfriend for a very, very long time. I've not had the urge to go and date anyone else because it was a, it was a very good relationship i would say <laughs> although i have to admit we decided to break up at a wedding <laughs> but no uh yeah me, me and nikki broke up at a wedding which <laughs> was so funny because like people say oh how are you how are you i'm like oh we're all right it's like so what are you gonna do when um when uh you know, when you go back to America, we just looked at each other and then looked back. Oh, we decided to break up today. <laughs> so, like, people would just come up and just say... But there, there's one person I met when I went to see them um, 
So they wanted to introduce their new partner that they got married to. But we didn't know they got married. And oh, it was so <laughs> we saw them come up and they they came up and we were expecting like really good news and everything. And she she said, hey, guys, this is my ex-girlfriend, uh, Stephanie. And we were all like, what? So we, we were all so confused. I'm speed running and I'm not speed running. We were all so confused about why she just said this as if like they've just broken up or something. And Stephanie literally just went, I really wish you'd stop introducing us like that. I'm her wife. <laughs> and showed the ring and everything. And we we're all like, that is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it was by far one of the greatest ways to ever introduce your wife or partner or anything. Just say... Oh yeah, they're my ex. It was like, oh, so funny. But yeah, the faces uh, people showed uh, when we said that we broke up was amazing. Like, even some friends from work were like... Because um, cause you came out bowling with us for... um For Shubba's Leavers. Because Shubba... Oh, I miss Shubba. The amount of stories I could tell at my old workplace is amazing. I miss working there. I wish I can go back in the summer. That That is what I want to do. Going back in the summer is the one thing I definitely do want to do. Because it was my favourite place. To, it's one of the best places I've ever worked at. And I've never worked in a factory-esque environment. And that place was beyond amazing. So if they're listening, please take me back. I'm I'm available after, um, Jul after um, May. I uh, can't remember his name. But the hot dude. <laughs> what? What? What was the hot dude? Who was the hot dude? Keith! <laughs> Keith! I don't know if he still works there. I remember I kept telling you the story like... About Keith. Right, so Keith was a new guy that came to our workplace that was supposed to be um, taking up a... Um, like the aerospace like the aerospace sort of department of the factory we worked in. I'm not, I don't know if I'm actually allowed to talk about this, but through everything, I don't work there as of yet. Please hire me back. Um, because she knows I like the name Keith because of Voltron. So I love Voltron. And I'm a Lance, uh, I'm, I'm a clan shipper. The whole premise of Keith was he was a beautiful, beautiful human. You could, oh, I'm so glad you reminded me of him, Nicky. Oh, he was so hot, I wanted him to take my place. <laughs> I would have totally approved. The only problem is he was a married man and he was straight. <laughs> oh, I was in love with this man. This man was like everything I I wanted in a um like a male relationship because he was so nice to everyone. He was like mmm. Mm. But obviously, him being straight was a problem. Well, it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, it's going to get to the point where, like, someone's going to take this clip that makes it sexier. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if this gets shared out. Just this bit, just about Keith. Just gets shared around my workplace going, Dad thinks you're hot, Keith. <laughs> Which I don't think was a secret. Because quite a lot of the women in the workplace would come up to me. and go, Keith's coming round. i will be like, fuck you. <laughs> Uh, just small things to work out. No secrets at all. Everyone thought he was hot. Yeah, that's true, actually. Everyone everyone pretty much digged him at that point. Everyone wanted a piece of key. Considering it's been 30 minutes and all I've done is talk, I'm not going to get any good time on this. But either way, it's a time I'm going to submit to um, the, 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 the speedrun category. I'm just going to basically make them listen to me ramble. I love you guys. I love this community. I love you all. No, in all fairness, I love, I love speedrunning, but uh, if there are any games that people need to speedrun, I, I am more than happy to have a look to see what there is. Now the speedrun community will know about Hot Keith. Everyone should know about Hot Keith. One moment. <laughs> I want you to play Stardew Valley. I want to play Stardew Valley. I do want to play Stardew Valley. That is a very 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 prominent thing I want to do 
All I know is I'm definitely going to be making a Twitch clip of me talking about hotkey. I think I'm just going to have a hotkey compilation. But uh, give me one moment, because if I go on my computer, hotkey for living history. Hell yeah, he will. He will always live. What I'll do is I'll, on, on, on my Discord um, tonight, I'm going to put up a picture of Hotkey. <laughs> on my Discord. So join my Discord. If you haven't all do so, or done so, I will put up a picture of Hotkey. Because he is a beautiful man. I feel like I'm going to have people joining in just to go, who is this Keith? <laughs> he had such a nice arms. I've actually gotten really red now talking about it. Yes, my light just got better. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find it. Once I, once I finish stream, I'm going to find an image. So I think I still have some pics of key. Because I went around. Hey! Thank you so much for the resub! Um... Thomas, how are you doing, dude? How are you doing? Ooh, missed it. Got it. Yeah, how are you doing, dude? Oh, I missed. Missed again. Don't. There we go. Not bad, just chilling. Just so good. Look, no worries, dude. Hope you have a lovely look. How's your streams going? Sorry, there's been a hostage situation. Okay, I'm glad I don't have the sound effects off for that because that would have been a really bad thing, dude. Go, do what you got to do. Um, I would have died laughing if the wow sound effect came all at that time. Honestly, I would have felt so freaking bad. Not that the situation is fine. No, the situation isn't fine. It's the fact that he typed it as soon as I put wow. And it's not even like a subtle like wow sort of thing. It's it's this. Hang on. It would have been this. Wow. It would have been that. <laughs> That, that's what it would have been. And I would have felt so bad and ashamed, but a part of me would have been like, I am so sorry. I know it's a very... Oh, I would have felt so, so bad if that went off. Uh, So have we given Claire a decent wage and some medical benefits, or did he just put her out on the street with the under, under five? We have five children under the age of three. You know what? Claire asked a lot of questions. Even though she gets the highest wage out of everyone at the park. Let's be fair. He fed her to the dinos. Yeah, in all fairs, let's be fair. Oh, talking about feeding to dinos. I really want to get a copy of Dino Crisis. To play on here like a proper... Like a proper, proper um, version. You have, you have to send me some pics. I'll have, to, I would love to see that. You haven't got one? Yeah, I'm not alone anymore. Not really something to go yeah about, but yeah, I'm not alone. Um, what was I after? Oh, we've got enough Ankylo now. Back to this chappy chap. Uh, this, this, this. So yeah, I haven't actually added. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if this is enough area for them. It is. Oh, this is why it's so unreal. This is how unreal this game is. So straight from Mimus, the easiest dinosaur you can get in the game. Can live in that. I can put all Struthium Armistice in that enclosure. And it'll be fine. Uh, going well so far. Um, 
we've got the accumulated junk cleared out, ripped out, uh, stripped out the old primitive shelves and so forth, run the wires and outlets and powered up. That is so cool. If I ever get the chance, um, BMAC, I will have to show you uh, a, a, send, like, send you a picture of a thing that they have in Sheffield, which is like all these storage um, like shipment containers and they've turned them into houses and it's so cool. I've only done one run today and this is the second run. Uh, I've seen that done over here. It's used a lot for housing for folk on long offshore projects. I think it's really cool in general those sort of projects. It gives me a, right, because I talk about this film a lot because it's one of my favourite films. It gives me a very um, Ready Player One vibe like that's how we're going to be living. <laughs> When the um, cornstarch um, riots and droughts happen. Uh, we've got to get another one going. So these, these can't fail. Defos, we want to get to 100% because they are the most cost effective dinosaur we have. I wasn't sure about this contract. Uh, three. Building. Restaurant. Let's go. Uh, having spent my formation years on submarines, those containers seem ruby enough to me. That's fair. I'm really upset because actually, um, I was discussing this with my parents. And I said if I had to go to any, um, force, like, forces area, I would have wanted to be a Navy SEAL. That is the department I would have wanted to work in. But I can't be accepted. From what I've been told when I looked into being recruited, I wasn't allowed. And I've, from what I remember, they said it was my height because it restricts me in so many ways but i don't know how true that is so i just never went to sort after it after that how tall are you uh six four six four six five it depends when i'm wearing shoes i'm a lot taller Necessary. yes i could definitely see that ruling you out for our version of the seals they have yeah exactly like I was willing to like do all the training and everything because I'm, as you can see, not very athletic. But I don't know what it is, but I feel like that would have been like the best place for me to go. But because of my height, they said it limits you on um, submarine spaces because obviously everything is so compactly tight that I would just continuously bang my head. Like I've been in. Um, HMS Victory, the what it's, it's the boat in the Thames, the massive warship in the Thames. I've been on that. I cannot walk through it without banging my head at least five times. So it does upset me, but at the same time, I'm grateful for who I am in general, even if it does limit me on some things. Like, I'm not even allowed to um, do mascot work because I was looking to do mascot stuff, but because you have to be a certain height, but taller people are easy to... That's why you never see a giraffe in a World War II trench. I uh, hate to hear how it's going over in Europe. In my state, they opened it up to everyone over the age of uh, 16. Yeah, so they've done all of ours in phases, which I understand. They've done well in getting so many people done. I must admit that. They have done so well in getting so many people done in such little time. Original GP? Oh, yes. Original GP is by far amazing i am a fan i'm a fan of all of them in general i like the first one because of how good it was for the time that it was made and even now it's still like so so good like um like the use of using visual and physical effects was so well done and it was so so cutting edge like oh I'm old enough to remember seeing it on the big screen. Uh, had never seen anything like it before. See, I have it on VHS. 
I first saw it on VHS because obviously it came out in 1993. I was born in 1995, so I didn't see it until probably 1997. And that was when Lost World came out. And I think a parent of mine took me to a thing. But I just remember seeing dinosaurs on the screen, just loving it. I was two or three. I was one of those ages and then number three came out. I saw that in, was that 2001, number three? And it had my favourite dinosaur in it, even though it's not historically accurate. But I love it. And I love the story and theories behind Jurassic Park 3 Spino as well. Like, there's so much I love about those films. And when World was announced, my family went to see it without me. Because I was at uni. So I went and saw it by myself. I watched it 30 times. Because I had a card which allowed me to go and see films over and over and over again. And uh, talking about this card that I had, I, I had I saw Big Hero 6 when it first came out and I watched it. Um it is just spectacular. One for the ages. I saw Big Hero 6 five times across three days. I went to like every screening on the first day. And then I went to a few screenings after that as well. That one's done. We'll just go Baryonics throughout there now. Have you ever gone to a drive-in theatre? I haven't, but I've been to the Alamo Draft House. I've been there when I went to Texas. I've been there. And that was by far one of the greatest things ever. Big Hero 6. Now there's an ugly cry movie. That is such a good movie. Sorry, no caps lock on. <laughs> is my push to talk. That's actually fair enough. That's fair enough, actually. Uh, my push to talk is my menu button. But the way you took charge left an impression. Uh, I've been to a drive-in movie many, many moons ago. But that's still cool. I wish I could. I wish I could go to a drive-in movie. They had some in England for a little while, but not many. But have you ever watched Jaws on a pool on a floaty? Jaws while in a swimming pool on floaties. Just bobbing around while watching a shark kill people. Even though the, even though the shark doesn't actually appear on screen until fifth no, eighty-three minutes into the film. Because I do love the reason why the shark never appeared until much later. Like physically the shark never was still on the the film. No until like um eighty odd minutes into the film. Because it didn't arrive in time. The budget didn't allow it to arrive on time. Uh, yeah, they're going fine. You there. You there, you there. Simple. Uh, it didn't work right after it did arrive. Yep. It arrived, it still didn't want to work. It was a fairy diva a shark. Come. Uh, turns out to be the best theme for making that movie suspenseful. Literally, that I think because they, they even in the editing process, this is when they physically had to cut the film. I don't know why I'm actually showing myself cutting stuff. Um, and it was mm, established one of the most basic tenets of a good horror movie: don't show the monster. It's so true. Like, right. Question, have you ever seen a film called The Babadook? Now, this is a film we made. I made fun of. I must admit, I have made fun of this film. But, heard of it, never seen it. But the Babadook does exactly what you say. It's one of those things where it just doesn't show the monster. But it's just so funny. So all my friends, when we watched it, used to go, Babadook. Because it always knocked or something. I don't know what it was, but we always made fun of that film. But it was it was still a good horror film. And I'm not great round horrors. So I always have to try and find a way to make it funny to me. Like try and make a laugh out of it in my head or out loud with other people. I try to keep it to myself. But if someone else starts talking about how stupid it is, then I join in. When everyone else does the same thing. But ah. Oh, Right, so there's a speed run on on this game, of course. Um, so they did 
Jurassic... They did it on Jurassic difficulty, which is, which is the hardest difficulty. Did it on Isla Nublar, on the Jurassic Park era. They did it in 1 hour 48 minutes. I'll do this on medium, and I've only just got the 3 star. But the strat that they came up for it was so good. And I want to do a run of that same um, park. And then try and somewhat make it faster than their time. Because they weren't doing it fast. They were doing it at a pace which they could just calculate stuff. But they submitted that as the run. So I think it can definitely get to sub 30. Looking at the run, you've just got to be very lucky with the RNG. Stiggy! We've got to get a Stiggy. What's everyone's favourite dinosaur? Go. Stiggy! It sounds like some off for a cigarette of, or a British. Like, the diplomats. <laughs> you like the spitters? I do like the spitters as well. I'm just not so touchy that feed line. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Uh, we still got to get the diffo fossils. We are just low. Come on, we need to get... We will get a Stiggy. A Stiggy is going to end the run. Uh, I never worried about the accuracy of those. Never went to the movies to buy position uh, paleontology. Well, you should. I've seen the reaction videos of um, paleontologists reacting to uh, film dinosaurs. And it is absolutely hilarious to watch. They say the Jurassic World films are the most accurate in terms of uh, the things. Like, paleo uh, paleontologists worked on this game. Uh, like, sort of worked on this game as well. Which was so cool. I find all this stuff cool. You overcame the challenge. Congrats. You're the best. Where's that champagne? That's fine. Apparently the fastest time I've ever done it was two hours twenty-three. But that line is still good. It's still good. In terms of like the game style, it's good. Speedrunning standards, not so much. <laughs> 